diseases generally are, are an adulthood disease, or it is wrongly considered as a, a, a disease that affects only adult people. Uh, we are aware that it sometimes, even rarely, Hunter disease may affect children. Half another disease is a rare neurological disease that is caused by a CAG repeat mutation in a Huntington gene. However, when such kind of mutation expands over uh, six repeats and more, it may affect people at a pediatric age. When the mutation is uh, so long to affect people in a pediatric age, sometimes the mutation sites could be over 80 repeats, 100 repeats, and more. Basically, a pediatric hunter disease is completely different from adult hunter disease. That's why it is very difficult to be recognized. And neurologists and even HD families sometimes fail to recognize them. Uh, some examples, uh, Hunter disease in general uh, is uh, characterized by movement disorders like chorea, that is a sort of a dance uh, of uncontrolled movements. And uh, instead, when the disease is starting at a pediatric age, it is uh, lacking of correct movements. And when it starts in uh, children, uh, sometimes since uh, first years of life, the symptoms and signs are completely different. Uh, you may have a difficulty in walking, in speaking, in uh, just pro, uh, do, uh, doing the first steps. And uh, this is a, a sort of a neurodevelopmental, a psychic and motor neurodevelopmental delay that is very, very difficult to be recognized. Uh, there is uh, uh, epilepsy uh, in a father life stage of these children that you don't see in general in adult huntington disease. There is never chorea in uh, young children. And uh, there is also what we noticed uh, very recently, an early uh, liver steatosis. Overall, uh, uh, children with the Hunter disease and such so long expanded mutations have also an abnormal brain pattern with uh, a reduced, early reduced volume of striatum since the first years of life, and uh, unfortunately, a short lifespan that is shorter than uh, adult people, and uh, even of those children with a relatively longer CAG mutations, uh, like 60, for example. So uh, the, those children with the highly expanded mutations are completely different in biology and in clinics.